Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, I have a new planner on my desk. This is what I'm going to try in 2024. I have been in the weeks for one, two, three, four, five years, and I love the weeks. This isn't a knock to the weeks at all. I can still make it work for me, but I just feel like my brain needs to visualize something a little bit different. I just feel like it might be time for a change for me. I actually tried in the beginning of 2023, somebody on Instagram had posted, She let me see if I can find the page. She had reworked her design layout, here it is, on the, um, on the weeks so that it, uh, so that the weeks would be more column-like with the weekend set aside all the way to the edge. I didn't mark it out very perfectly. This is as far as I got. I just didn't want to have to commit to, you know, reworking my, my pages every week and lining in um, and setting up a new calendar inside an already existing calendar. It just seemed like too much work, you know, work for me and I just couldn't commit to it. I liked the idea at the time, kept it in the back of my mind. And then when um, the planner rollouts were coming in for 2024, I looked into the, to the Nolte again. Sarah Martinez had shown this on her channel and I like the layout that she used. She uses it less for planning, but more for memory keeping, which is basically what I do too. My work planner is something separate. This is my daily family events, you know, um, and memory keeping. So it seems like maybe a natural evolution. I also felt like I wasn't paying attention so much to the layout anymore. And I don't know, I just wasn't feeling very, I don't know, inspired. Like I said, I think it's just time for a change. Um, that being said, though, <laughs> I did order a Hobonichi Weeks because they did come out with the botanical again. And I figured if this doesn't work out for me, I could always jump back into this. And if not, I can always use uh, the little weeks for other things. I can use them for ink logs. It will not be a planner that goes to waste, but I could show you that either at the end or uh, in another video. We'll see. So if you haven't seen the Nolte planner before, it is not uh, Tomoe River paper. It's another Japanese paper. And I don't know if it, I don't know if it says it in here or if I remember to look it up. Oh, all right, maybe I'll put it in the description below what the paper is, if I can find it. So the planner is similar in in the weeks that it has the um, a yearly overview, which I keep here for just notating um, some health things. And then it has your monthly overview, which in the past I've use these for uh, events that are coming up in my calendar year, but this past year I used it for a way of marking the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, all the days on the uh, Catholic and Christian calendar and the days of the saints and special days of, uh, holy days of obligation. And I don't know if I'm going to use that again in the front of here, at, or if I'm going to buy a Catholic planner separately so that I keep those only because when I was planning all of my Christian calendar things here, I omitted birthdays and stuff into the weeks. And then 
not looking at a monthly overview, I would sometimes neglect and forget somebody's birthday, and I felt very bad about that. So, unless I can insert, well, maybe I could just put the birthdays down here. Use this for my holy days of obligation, and then birthdays, anniversaries, and things like that. Maybe I can, okay, I think I just figured that out while I was talking. So maybe that will work out after all. Um, so you have your monthly <clears throat> overviews, and then it goes into, uh, this is, is this a, okay, it seems like a lot of pages. Nope, that was just 12, well, 13, because it starts a month sooner, right? Oh no, this one doesn't start in, yeah, it does start in December. Okay, so you have December 2023, so you can start a month early and then jump into <clears throat> the new year. So the monthly layout, instead of being horizontal or lateral, it is uh, columns or vertical. And even though I don't need to fill in every hour with hourly, um, hourly planning, I just feel like I, f I felt like I have more space writing down this way and then a little extra room down here for, um, you know, what I did over the weekend or any special events I could fill in on here. So, I don't know. I just, like I said, I just thought maybe it was time for a change. All right. So here are the back pages. I think there's about 20 pages back here. Not exactly sure. And then they have a, I guess, Japanese railway system printed in the back here, which is great if you live in Japan, but the rest of us, we could just use some regular paper. I mean, I don't live in Japan, so that's sort of like a waste of pages in the back. Um, I did a pen test. <laughs> the first pen test I did up on the top, forgetting that the uh, map was on the other side so you couldn't see any ghosting. So I did it again here on the bottom. Some black ink and the paper held, held up very well. So now the only th problem I do have is that I don't have a planner cover for this size. Um, so I know Sarah Martinez had made her own cover. So I do have the possibility of maybe DIYing a cover. Or if you know somebody who sells a planner for the Nolte, please put it in the comments below because I haven't even uh, started to look into a cover for it. It has this like pleatherette kind of cover on it, but I would like something a little cuter. This is just so basic. So that's um, what I have in line for um, 2024. And I guess I'll show you what's in my Hope and Ichi. Why make another whole video just for that? Okay, hold. Please hold. Just me struggling over here. Be right with you. Okay, here we go. And now this was something. Like I said, I've ordered from Hobonichi before. They didn't mention, usually they have a mention of the pen. I had seen them in other people's unboxings, so I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to get a pen when I placed the order. I ordered it from the Hobonichi store website. But usually it mentions it in the bottom that the pen would be included. So I wasn't sure, but I did get one. And it's the little uh, multi, multi-color uh, click pen. This is the cover. 
I'm so happy they came back out with the botanical design. I, the only problem I have with, well, it's not really a problem. I've always ordered the weeks in just the standard. This year, I ordered the Mega. This was the sneaker edition, which I liked and it worked out fine for me. And I have used up almost all, except for this small section of, I used up all but that. I really did use up a lot of the, the back pages. Um, so if I use the Hobonichi Weeks and I'm using up the back week pages, uh, Paper Penguin makes inserts and I'll just buy a small folder, week sized insert and just, you know, stick it in a planner with my weeks for extra pages. So I also ordered a few pencil boards, this very pretty botanical one, and this one, uh, this is for the, this is the week size obviously, and this is an A6. And it was just so pretty, I couldn't resist it. So that's it. That is going to be my 2024 lineup. Um, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.